Tattersall and sponsors Vanarama have backed the competition's recent rebrand of Manorama to the tune of £150,000. Does this come, this obviously great effort from you over the last week, come from a, a personal story? Yeah, unfortunately I was diagnosed with terminal prostate cancer four years ago and the doctor said I might only live two years. So here I am four years on, I'm still alive, I'm still defying the odds, but I want to prove to people you can just keep going. Wins have been at a premium of late for Halifax and Chesterfield. Jamie Fullerton's team has slipped to 13th, whilst Martin Allen's men are without a victory in 12. Time to stop the rot. Your commentators are Adam Virgo and Adam Summerton. Benson with the header and off the crossbar. So close to his first goal for Chesterfield. It's the first time really he's had a bit of movement from the throw-in. A lot of the time he's just been stood still and he's just trying to win flick-ons and trying to head it down. That was the first time that he got himself a little yard on Clark. Agonizingly close to hit the crossbar. Denton finds Avon Hines. Shaw, Denton both in the box. Hines with the ball over. Oh, what a cross it was as well. And Weston was so close to finding the back of the net. Well, you wonder how this creeps past the post. And when things aren't going right for you in that final third, this is what happens. So what Hines can certainly bring to the plate. Great fizzing ball across. And you'd certainly fancy Curtis Weston to be the man to get that first goal. Unfortunately, no, that's a bad miss as well. Oh, that's a good flick on. And it's Cosilo round the keeper, and there's the finish. Halifax lead at the Shea. And it's Matty Cosilo on his return to the side today after serving a suspension who opens the scoring. Well, Martin Allen will be absolutely furious with this goal. He's just basic defending. Maguire has to read the flick on, and he doesn't. And Cosilo does. And in fairness to him, when you're in a pressure situation like that, you sometimes snap at your chances. We know the ability of this player, we know the quality that he's got. And that is a top, top finish from him. But what a poor goal for Chesterfield to concede. Such a crucial time in this game. Short, Heinz. Good feet from Heinz. And he's dug out the cross. Ben and Williams gets first to the loose ball. Hines certainly looks like Chesterfield's most likely source of inspiration this second half. Lovely back heel, Ben and Williams. Denton in! It's the law of the X. His first Chesterfield goal comes at the Shea against Halifax. It was always in the script. And Chesterfield have the equaliser. The word from the bench is he was just about to be brought off by Martin Allen. Well, how big will this goal mean to Martin Allen and how big will this goal mean to Chesterfield? Just finally, finally a bit of quality. Severon Hines has been excellent since he's coming at half-time and Binham Williams hangs it up beautifully. And it's just the strength of Denton. Clark's up against him, pushes him out the way. That's not a foul in my opinion. When you put a bit of quality in like that and you hang it up for Tom Denton, he'll get goals from this. It's a great header from him. You head it back from where the cross comes from. Always wary of an ex-player coming back to the club. He certainly would have enjoyed that one. Staunton and Scars and the captain Clark all waiting for this delivery. In it goes from King and the header is off the crossbar. They're saying it's got in, but the referee's completely unmoved. So close to a winning goal. Oh, very close. Quality ball in. So unlucky, so, so unlucky there for Halifax to get that winner.